Now, is Shaw the space jockey? Now, I know this that sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. I recently saw um, Take Me Home, the trailer, and the crew, they stumble upon, of course, the juggernaut. They go into the, um, the bridge, and they obviously access the hologram system. And notice that you see Shaw, it appears to be Shaw, but also there's a period where, because they probably see several holograms, and there's one where it looks like an engineer is sitting in the chair doing the controls. And they look horrified by watching this hologram. So is it possible, like, watching these several holograms, they're seeing Shaw morph into an engineer? And it's, and that's why they're horrified. You know, it's like, whoa, what's going on with her? What's, what's happening with her? And um, now, according to Star Trek The Next Generation, I'm going to play you a clip. Uh, this is possible. What have you found out? I have analyzed Commander Riker's DNA structure. A synthetic T cell has invaded his genetic codes. This T cell has begun to activate his latent introns. Introns? They are genetic codes which are normally dormant. They are evolutionary holdovers, sequences of DNA which provided key behavioral and physical characteristics millions of years ago but are no longer necessary. So we know that the DNA of the engineers and humans are pretty much identical. So this T cell invaded uh, Shaw and resurrected the DNA of the engineer and she assumed that DNA and then all of a sudden she's morphing into an engineer. Now is this leftover from what Sean Holloway did when they had sex and he implanted her, impregnated her. Is it left over from that? Quite possibly. Uh, we don't really know, but it definitely looks like she was changing into an engineer. Now, that would make it possible for her to fly the ship because the engineer has to be in the cockpit and if that's the case, she would be able to fly the ship. Now, what we have to understand is that on in Prometheus, when Shaw got David and they were planning to go to another ship in order to get out of, get off of LV-223, we don't really know how long that took. We're, because uh, we watched the movie, we're assuming that maybe it took a few hours or so, but no, it could have took a few days a few weeks, a few months, because he has to, remember, David said he has to teach her to fly the ship. So that's not going to be like, you know, right away. Like she's going to have to really do, put in some work. And of course there's uh, enough food on that, um, that, that yacht that uh, was specially designed for uh, Vickers. So they could have been on that LV-223 for, as I said, weeks, months, until they took off because she has to know how to fly the ship and she's not going to know right away, you know, she's not that much of a genius that she knows exactly how to fly the ship and then she could just take off like that. No, there had to be some time. And during that time, the Deacon definitely could have snuck aboard on the ship because the Deacon has the memories of the engineer. So the Deacon knows exactly where to go, exactly where to hide in order to, you know, remain unnoticed. And of course, the deacon is not going to attack. Remember, I, I believe that the deacon is actually a queen, uh, lays some eggs or just one egg. I would say a little bit more than one egg, but the deacon knows that, that it is not beneficial in her, it's not in her best interest to attack because she wants to get off that planet because there's nothing there. So she has to wait months on end, and then eventually, um, while once Sh Shaw is transformed into an engineer, then she attacks, impregnates Shaw. Of course, if it's a fast uh, attack, then Shaw won't remember that she's implanted with a, with implanted with an alien, uh, an alien seed. 
So she goes about her business. She she's ready to pilot the ship, and they leave. They leave, and then they go to paradise. And then once she lands on paradise, then the alien comes out, and then, of course, she's dead. And that would mean that LV four two six is actually paradise. That would be it. Yeah, it's, that'd be so obvious that it would be definitely be paradise. And um, now, did Shaw fix David before they left? I don't know. Uh, did the people that came to paradise, did they fix, find David and fix him and gave him a body? I don't know. It's possible. I would think that possibly she fixed him before or just before they were about to leave. That's possible, but I really don't know. There's no real clues. I could just guess. Um, but yeah, it's possible that she is a space jockey because if you look at Take Me Home, the trailer, it looks like an engineer in the hologram and I would believe that she is morphing into an engineer.